This is um, about the Quick Black Widow scam. Um, unfortunately, I did not get drugged, but this is one situation. I met a girl at a, um, a, a bar, club, casino, whatever, some years, you know, many years back, some years back. And, you know, she got all friendly and she was play decided to play next to me on the um, gambling machine. And then she started getting talkative and then, you know, I brought her a drink and, you know, I brought her another drink and I was getting drunk. Then she wanted to go back to my motel room. Well, I was down, I flew down from another um, state to attend court, you know, for, as a witness to an incident. And she knew that, you know, I was yapping away too much, I guess. So anyway, we get back to the hotel room and she's come in and she's, you know, told me that she was a student in that um, town. You know, all right, fair enough. Her name was whatever it was. And anyway, we get in there and I was feeling a bit, you know, drunk, a bit dirty. So I said, look, do you want to hang on a minute and I'll go and have a shower. Um, and I'll come out and I'll be freshened up. So I hop in the shower. She's standing there. She's sitting on the edge of the on the edge of the bed, and everything was quiet. And I'm trying to yell out and talk to her. I think it cost me something like ninety dollars to stay in the motel for four hours or something because I had to fly back that day. I come out, doors open. She's gone. I look outside and I think, oh, maybe she's whatever. See my wallet. Everything's cleaned out. Cards, wallet, you know, basically money that I had from, I must have had about $600 in my wallet. And, you know, I was going to use that to get back home and da 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 da. So I threw my shorts on and my shirt, thinking that she might have gone. Just so I looked up and down the road, couldn't see the girl for nuts. But I still had to get back to um, Queensland. So I thought, shit, I've been screwed here. She knew that I had money in my wallet. She's pulled her um, Black Widow scam, a quick one. At least it, I, it wasn't where I was drugged up and she could do whatever she damn well wanted to take everything else that I had, which wasn't much at the time um, because of the quick visit. So anyway, I got pretty jacked off. But I knew that I probably couldn't chase the girl down because I had to go within, you know, two hours or something, or three hours um, to the airport and fly away again, back to the other state. So I got back to the other state, went to work, collected me pay, and I said to the bloke, oh, I just need some time. I ne I, unfortunately, I never went back to the same job. Well, anyway, I got on the plane, went, went back there, you know, hopped in my car, Went back down to the other state, drove down there, took um, like two days or something um, to drive down there. And because she was a student, her name was da da da, I eventually tracked that she lived in a student housing um, just by the first name of anyone know of her first name or, you know, say Karen or something like that. Um, you know, there's probably lots of Karens and lives in a student housing. So anyway, I went to the student housing, went in there and I looked around. I said, anyone seen Karen? She's about da 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 da. Yeah, she's up at room 42. All right, so I went up there, banged on room 42. She opened the door, her jaw dropped like. Uh, I said, what happened to you? I said, me money went, you went. And she said, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I don't know what happened, I've never done this before, go to a, a room with a man. Yeah, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so I just said to her, I said, you've got two choices. Either I report you to the coppers or you quit your studies <coughs> because you'll be reported for theft. You pack your stuff up today put it all in the car and go. I said, you got two choices. That, oh, so what she done, didn't see her back at, you know, I was told that she quit her, her studies. 
So anyway, that was the um, a Black Widow scam that um, I had many years ago where I took a girl back to my room after meeting her at the hotel room, or, you know, at the club. You know, I was pretty drunk, had a few and gave her a few, caught the taxi to the motel. I went and had a quick shower and she took the opportunity to have a quick dip into my wallet and my cards. All the cards, you know, there wasn't really any money on it, but the, the point was that she took about $600. That's just taken an estimation because I got paid from the court for attending, you know, as a witness. Um, so, yeah, sometimes you can do things either the mean way or the mean way. Either the coppers or you quit your studying, you know, at the university. So she quit her studying at the university and I thought, well, that's pretty good. Um, I got something back in return anyway. Revenge. <laughs>